Well, I'm glad to say I'm joined by the Chinese ambassador to this country, Liu Xiaoming. Very good evening to you, ambassador. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. Do you think your country, if the tables were turned, do you think China would let a British contractor build a nuclear power station in China? Uh, I would ask, do you have a capital? Do you have a money? to build a nuclear power in China. We did. Do we suppose uh, we did? Suppose, I'm not so sure about that. You know, uh, <laughs> I don't think you I, would. I think the reason why China here, why you want China, is that you need Chinese investment. And also in terms of technology, China is very advanced in terms of nuclear technology. I think China had more nuclear power station than many other countries. Yeah, so you're building world. lots of them and we can benefit from that. Yeah. But I don't think you would, because I mean, on your government website, there's a catalogue of prohibited foreign investment industries. It's more restrictive than ours. I mean, you, number six, exploring mining and dressing of radioactive mineral products. Number nine, smelting, processing radioactive mineral products. Production of nuclear fuel. You, would, you wouldn't let us go anywhere near your nuclear industry. And I, I wonder whether you think we're stupid to let you come near ours. Uh, no, I think you're not stupid. In fact, you're very smart, you know, by using China's money to build your nuclear power station and the British people will get benefit. You know, if we can do that, we would love to do it. Right. It's win-win. It's win-win. Yeah, I quite yeah. agree with but you. But then look, there are lots of other things you don't do, which we are really good at. I mean, air traffic control. We've got a great air traffic control company, prohibited uh, to, for a foreign investment industry. Companies of postal no, services. No, I don't think so. You said auction air companies, antique shops engaging in antique, construction of golf courses. Why can't we build golf courses and invest in... In fact, golf? there are several foreign investors building golf courses in China. Uh, what was the last time you, you, you were in no, China? I just, I just, well, I just got this catalogue of prohibited foreign investments. No, this one out I of day don't one. think. In fact, uh, there's uh, uh, many corporations... Right. Joint venture between ah, Chinese... Ah, joint ventures. But they can't Chinese. go in. They can't just go in and build but it on their can, own. But they, 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 they go in as a joint venture. But you why, know, why uh, don't so you that, uh, you know, the Chinese partners can have foreign business right. to get a feeling of the market. Mm. So I, yeah, but you have to remember, China, UK are at the different stages of development. Uh, it just as your video clips say, you are yeah. more advanced in many areas. And China is still a developing country. So we have to do things step by step. We have to learn your lessons. We try to avoid the mistakes you have made. So we have to be more cautious when it comes to some of the areas but of business. But, but I mean, it, it is a win-win trade, and we, that's why we welcome you in, and we'll yeah. let you do all sorts of things here. And it's, um, sometimes we also like it's not reciprocal, really. No, I don't think yeah. so. No? Okay. If we do not uh, reciprocate, how could UK become the second largest investor in China? Right after Germany only, and uh, your investment is also coming more and more. So I think it's a win-win. Let me ask you this one. There are a lot of concerns, security concerns. Uh, in fact, the Times newspaper today quotes security sources, mentioning some of them, in relation particularly to nuclear power. There are fears that trap doors or back doors could be inserted into computer systems, which might allow the Chinese to bypass British control of a nuclear plant in the event of a diplomatic row. Now, how is there any way the Chinese can assure those people in Britain who worry about that, look, I think your this, plant uh, is going to be safe yeah, and clean and yeah, we won't course, have control? Of course, because we'll do all this by following international standards. I think your intelligence people, your security people are not that stupid, you know, not to know all these things. You know, we are here for win-win cooperation. We are not here to try to control your nuclear power station. What China will get by controlling British nuclear power station you know, I think uh, you really have to see there's a basic trust when you're forging partnership. Right. So I think if there's a bad media keep playing up, I think Chinese business might be scared away okay. from entering UK. It, it will just be opposite from what your chancellor is saying, UK will be the most open Western country but, but, to Chinese investment. But, but a basic trust, is there a basic trust? I mean, what about this... People's Liberation Army Unit 61398 building in Shanghai, out of which a very no, large I, I portion of the cyber crime is built. I, I think there's a hybrid uh, rumor. I don't think so. First of all, I want to let you know, Chinese government is strongly oppose this kind of practice. You know, we, we, I think during President Xi Jinping's visit to the United States, the two governments reached consensus that two countries will work together. Yeah. to fight against the cyber crime.
Oh, come none on. Of this the, is just, this is just, no, you're, we, you're we commit me, it. We commit it. None of the government agencies will be engaged in cyber espionage. And none of the government will in support of any activities. We really so believe, it's, it's we believe solemn, this, but look, I mean, you commitment. If you don't believe us, how can we well, I know, work but together I, I, I mean, and building the, 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 the partnership? The, the, your own book, The Science of Military Strategy, the PLA's own manual, 2013 version, which was uh, leaked out, uh, did acknowledge that has, China has network attack forces. I mean, what is the network attack force? No, I don't believe this. I don't think we have any wiper a cyber, cyber tech attacking. forces and I think uh, you know in fact China is more open for cooperation uh, we and in fact China itself is a victim of uh, hacker attack well, that, yeah. uh, and, and, and you know in China we have a saying Confucius philosophy I'm sorry right, to bring okay, back uh, like you know, 3,000 years back yeah. do not do to others what you don't them to do for you that right. is our philosophy Right. We'll follow this philosophy. Yeah. You know, uh, since China is a victim of hacker yeah. attack, we do not want to uh, you know, inflict same attack onto the others. Right. Look, very briefly, human rights. If Britain makes a big fuss about human rights next week, if there are big protests, suppose the opposition leader, suppose the Prime Minister talks a lot about human rights and our version of it, will, that, will we have a price to pay in trade and you investment? Do, first of all, I would ask you this. Do you think uh, human rights are perfect in your case, number no, one. No, but Secondly, we criticize acting do you rights think the uh, UK's uh, model is the perfect for the worldwide? I think every country has its own conditions, how to improve the human rights, how to protect the human rights. Do you agree with me? Yeah, I do. Uh, what I'm is not, your, what not is your definition of a human right? No, but I'm not, I'm not criticizing your human rights. Sorry, my question wasn't about your human rights. Okay. The question was, if we criticize your human rights, and will we, they, we, will we have a pro and you can criticize ours? Uh -huh. Will we? That's pay a what the presidents uh, are here for, criticizing each other no, on human no, rights. But if it came up, would there be a price to pay in terms of investment? Because I'll tell you why. I think if your president came here and criticized our human rights, I think that is not. Uh, he's not going to do that. I know. No, it's not we would still carry we on. We respect the conditions of other countries. We think human rights basically guaranteed by Chinese constitution, protected mm -hmm. by constitution, and it's really. Uh, internal matters to be to begin uh, with and of course you, I I hope you would have a big picture about human rights in China you know do you, do but you I, I, I'm not getting into an argument about human rights my, my, my point is about trade and whether you you use trade as a way to stop us talking no, about no, human rights wait. so there would be no price to pay if we spoke about human rights I, I, you you know, trade and invest just as, as a, as so a you think we use uh, trade as a vehicle weapons to get things we want. That's absolutely wrong. Trade is the win-win, right? Okay. We export what you need and import what I, we need. You know, th there's no so-called uh, right. you know, uh, pre quo quo in terms of uh, uh, in, in, tra in, in trade. I think it's a win-win. Uh, so we should carry on trading even if we sometimes have a disagreement over human rights. I Having think we, you know, because China and UK is so different in social system. Polit uh, both political, economic, in history, in cultural, different stages of development. We differ. That's naturally. Yeah. You know, but we can still do business. I'm and sure we can right. reserve our differences and seeking common good. I, do you agree with me? I, I do agree with you. Mm -hmm. I do. I'm glad we agree on that. Look, just one very quick last one. Our, our health secretary spoke about his Chinese wife and the working values in Asia. He said, we, we, we want to be a country that can work hard in the way the Asian economies do. Do we have a, a work, good work ethic here, or do we have benefit levels that are too I high? Think, that stop I us? think the two countries can learn from each other. Chinese people are working very hard, uh, but the British people uh, are very creative. So our, you know, two people can learn from each other. And we're, we're not hard working? Not as hard as the Chinese no, people. Not as hard as Chinese people. Sure, sure, sure. So that's how China can make a miracle just in 30 years to yeah. turn a relatively poor country into the second largest economy. I think we should give a credit oh, to the hard-working spirit of Chinese people. Yeah. In 40 years' time, do you think China will look more like Britain? Do you think, for example, there may be a, a democratically elected president? So that's we come to the basic <laughs> the difference here. You believe yours is democracy, and we believe our system is democracy. We call it democracy of Chinese characteristics. 
One other, some people you know, look at UK, your system, you know, the way you elect your national leaders, it's not direct election. And in China, it's also in indirect direction. We elect a county mayor, county deputies, county deputies yeah. elect the provincial deputies, the national deputies. This is a bigger conversation. National we leader. We'll get you back and we'll have this. We'll, we'll discuss that one on We can side. spend the whole evening <laughs> talking about the democracy. Thanks. Ambassador, thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you.